You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing a recap of uh, Raw from January 1st. Yeah, the New Year's Day show. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna preface New Year, New Raw. Yeah, 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 whatever. No, wait, same old, same old yeah, Raw. We're gonna we're gonna preface uh, this episode with uh, we're gonna go back to our long format uh, videos. Yeah, but we'll try to cut down on the nonsense. Yeah, because uh, the the two per show is a little a little much. So I don't want to edit two episodes. That that certainly has a lot to do with it. Pretty much. Um, anyway, yeah. uh, this Raw opened with an announcement of several matches that were taking place over the course of the night. Sure. Um, Samoa Joe against Roman Reigns for the IC title. Mm-hmm. Asuka versus Alexa Bliss in a non-title match. Mm-hmm. Um, did they announce any other matches? I don't think so. And I think they just said that Lesnar was going to be yeah. there. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but yeah, so we open up backstage, right, with kurt angle and alexa bliss well alexa bliss was w- running around the backstage area like looking very confused or not confused but like worried okay i walked she, into the room and they were talking she looked so. very concerned yeah she was not happy about her match with oscar later mm-hmm. on tonight and she said that Oscar's is in the royal rumble so her getting a chance to face her at wrestlemania should be all that she needs right? yes so she she said, why should we have this match now when she could just have it at WrestleMania? Mm-hmm. And Kurt says, you're lucky it's a non-title match. Keep this up. Yeah. Make it a title match. They didn't do anything with that, though. Nah. Which is kind of weird. You'd yep. think they would have done something. Yeah. So then Kurt comes to the ring, kind of talks about everything that's going on, and then talks about the Women's Royal Rumble. She, he says, what's good for the men is good for the women. 30 women. Over the top rope. Yeah, I guess it was just confirming that because yeah. I I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure it was speculated they were going to do the same thing. Um, I think it was speculated to be twenty women. No, well you had said I had said thirty, but yeah. a lot of people had thought twenty because uh, there's only it would make a lot more sense. Seventeen women on the roster besides the two champions. Yeah, it would yeah. make a lot more sense to have mm-hmm. twenty, but I guess this gives you a lot of room for yes NXT people. Well, and... I heard some rumors about SmackDown. So you mean tonight? Yes, tonight. Oh, okay um anyway mm-hmm. uh he comes out like you said uh, announces the the rules um but he kind of gets interrupted by seamus and cesaro mm-hmm. they, cesaro with no mouth guard yes, this his, time his teeth were back yeah or someone's teeth were back <laughs> <laughs> um, they were his anyway no. so they come out and they're complaining that um they they never should have had to have their title match against seth rollins and uh, jason jordan last mm-hmm. week and it's not fair and uh, he was playing favorites with Jason Jordan because That's he's what his he son. does. Um, and then I think Jason Jordan comes out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, well, he's... first, first they demand a, a rematch, rematch tonight. Yes. And, and Angle said that you'll get it, but when I say so, mm-hmm. and that's when Jason, Jason Jordan, Jordan comes out and, and says that. Well, obviously, I, I want we yeah. won, so we deserve so the deserve, title. Yeah. And. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> And then uh, Cesaro kind of just challenges him to a match. Mm-hmm. Oh no, no! They, the Cesaro like wants to beat him up, and, and then Kurt Angle makes, makes the match. match. Yeah, <laughs> that's when Cesaro just pulls out his mouth guard, puts it in, and ready to go. Yeah. Um, and then at that point, uh, Seth Rollins comes out mm-hmm. and says that, "Well, you're not a very good teammate, obviously. So I'm coming down here not not to. I'm, I'm here to protect my half yep. of the tag team titles." Right. You were just gonna go out there and get your ass kicked by two people. Mm-hmm. You weren't thinking about anything stupid. Yeah. So, and then he's like, "I'm not here to watch you win. I'm here to watch you lose," which is kind of funny because Jason Jordan's been doing an awful lot of losing lately. Yep. So, uh, oh yeah, yeah. Then we jumped right into that match. Mm-hmm. Uh, they gave this a decent amount of time. Yeah. Uh, Cesaro worked on Jason's knee for a good portion of the match. Just hobbling around. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sheamus, I think he got one hit on Jordan in the middle of the match, right? There's a surprisingly small amount yeah, of interference, interference from which, by, on Sheamus' mm-hmm. part. There's a couple of times where um, he, like, attempted to walk over, and then Rollins kind of gave yeah. him the stink eye, and mm-hmm. and then he kind of backed off. Yeah, and I guess toward the end of the match, I think Jason was near the ropes because Cesaro was signaling to Sheamus to come and attack him. Mm-hmm. And Rollins came in, intercepted, took out Sheamus, and then uh, Jason Jordan hit his finisher. 
Yes, the, the lackluster. It's just it's just weird because it comes out of nowhere. It's also half of. I know. Uh, I know. No, I'm just saying it's funny because they didn't come up with something that was. They didn't even just... give it a name, did they? No, I don't think so. Hmm. They um, just that just that neck breaker, right? So uh, it's gonna be and, the knee to the, uh, the neck well, breaker, the knee. And Michael Cole says out of nowhere. Yeah. So <laughs> that obviously is a very good way of it, putting over a move. It's just it's just kind of lackluster. Yeah, it's dumb. But it's anyway, just, yeah. Rollins does, in fact, successfully help Jason mm-hmm. Jordan to win. And then Jason Jordan gets all happy and lifts Seth's arm outside the ring, and <laughs> Rollins just holds his arm there, kind of looking at him. What are you doing? And then that was that. Yeah. Yep. You can tell that Seth really isn't too interested in mm-hmm. being uh, Jason Jordan's teammate, which is good. Pretty much. It adds conflict. Mm-hmm. All right. So uh, up next, we have Renee Young uh, interviewing Roman Reigns. Yes. Uh, she asked if how the stipulation of, oh, yeah, because in their match later on, if Roman Reigns gets disqualified, yep. he loses his title. Mm-hmm. And uh, Roman says that the stipulation doesn't matter because I'm just going to beat down Joe anyway. Yeah. He's a punk. Yep. I think that's all he yeah, said. Yeah, he said that a lot. Yeah. Okay. That was that one. I wasn't sure if it was later on when he called him a punk, but no, yeah. it was this one. And then he's gonna, and then he said that uh, he's, he's going to punk. Joe's going to get punk. what he deserves yeah. for last week. Mm-hmm. That was that. Oh, no, Joe got what he deserved last week. That's yeah, right, 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 yeah, right, right, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, because he's like, did you see what I did to him last week? That punk thinks I'm going to, you know, <laughs> it was just like, okay. I liked peppering that word, yes, man. it was funny. Um, so up next, we had Bray Wyatt versus Apollo Crews. Yeah, it was a little surprising. I was surprised at how much time they gave this mm-hmm. match. Um, I couldn't believe it. But, uh, yeah, so we had all of Titus Worldwide, a.k.a. Titus and... Uh, Dana Brooke. Yes. The (laughs) statistician. Yes, exactly. I believe that's what they're calling Mm -hmm. her. She's taking notes the whole time. Yep. I don't know what she's taking notes of. I don't know. But yeah, so uh, at the end of the match, Apollo was going to set up for his, what, sit out power bomb, right? I think that's what he does. I guess. I think that's what his Um, move is. But then Bray reversed it into Sister Abigail. Oh, 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 yeah. At the very end. Yeah, at the end. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, because what happened was Dana Brooke had jumped onto the rope, I guess, to distract Bray. Oh, right, when Bray was in Oh, no, no. Bray was in the corner. Yeah, he was doing his little bridge thing, right? Yeah, and um, she was trying to, I guess, I guess, cheer on Apollo. Mm Mm-hmm. And Titus is Dana, get down. Dana, get down. And then Bray ran at her, and she fell off the apron onto, onto her. him. And then that's when uh, Apollo seemingly got the upper hand, mm-hmm. but uh, Bray very quickly countered his move into a Sister Abigail. And yep. then he pinned him. And then, uh, yep, Matt came up on the Titan Tron, and he's going to delete him. Yeah, well, he went on a long-winded thing said something about turning his fireflies into woken warriors Mm -hmm. and then um he said that once i um i think he said extinguish sister abigail he will delete bray wyatt yeah that was basically what happened yeah i Uh, actually understood the words that came out of his mouth that was was good good job you're learning something i won't call it learning it's it's not useful for anything oh it's not definitely not (laughs) uh so we have a backstage segment where uh was Alexa walking in the back? Well, she f- she, she was, was looking, looking for, Nia. for Nia, right? Yeah. And Nia had chicken soup in her hand, mm. and she was going to the hospital because apparently Enzo Amore has the flu, mm. to which he was actually at the arena last night. But and he wanted to wrestle, but WWE had sent him home or sent him back to the hospital because he was oh. still ill. I know I saw a picture of him in the hospital. Yeah. So yeah, but apparently he was actually there, and they sent him out. <laughs> so basically. Uh, Alexa told Nia that she needed her there, and Nia said, I got to bring this to Enzo. He's and sick. Then, he needs me. Yeah, and then Alexa was like, well, I really hate to do this, but it's either him or me. And Nia's like, well, the soup's getting cold, and then just leaves. Yeah. I um, don't know what in God's name they're going mm-hmm. for with this, but. Don't know, but I, I'm sure Enzo being sick uh, kind of threw him for a loop there, and they had to come up with something quick. I guess. Which this but- worked. Yeah. But I don't know if they were going to jump this quickly into the Bliss. Well, Naya. I was going to say there has to be some kind of thing going on with Bliss, if because mm. you didn't need to do this. There was no really mm-hmm. point in doing no. that. But but she needed somebody in her corner because coming up next, her match with Asuka, yes. Alexa was very very scared looking. Oh yeah, she was... she played it perfect. Mm-hmm. She's so good. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, this match happened next, Alexa Bliss versus Asuka. Um, I'm very surprised that the way the match went, 
that it was actually given a full match, and we I didn't was... get any in interference. I figured Absolution or something was going to come out. Well, I thought the same thing. I mean, Paige is not cleared to wrestle yet. She got hurt at the Nassau Coliseum show last oh, week. Oh, she did? Yeah. Um... Uh, I don't think hurt, hurt. She was just, I think, uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Not Some a stinger, kind of slight, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess issue. Um, there was but, discomfort. But yeah, I figured as much. But yeah, you didn't hear about that? But uh, They were going to take her out on a stretcher and everything like that. I guess she took like a kick to the back of the neck I, or something I like that. I thought I heard something from about banks. it, but I didn't know for sure. Yeah. Um, anyway, that like like you said, this was yeah. actually... It was a lot of Asuka offense. Yeah, well, the beginning of the match, it was Alexa being completely scared and not knowing what she was going to do, so she kind of kept going to the ropes, out of the ring, mm -hmm. and then she got, she found her opportunity and took advantage, and what, she have uh, Asuka wrapped around the uh, ring post, yes. right? Yeah. And then that's when she kind of got her offense in, and it was a little more back and forth, or even, I should say. Yeah. Um, but uh, surprisingly, in the end, well, mm -hmm. not really surprisingly, no. but a little bit, uh, Asuka ends up winning with the arm bar clean. So, do you think this is telling that we're not going to get this match at WrestleMania? No, it doesn't mean anything. No, you just think it was... Well, it, it could have been... Um, well, A, it could have been that we need to fill the slot that was going to go to en uh, Enzo versus Cedric Alexander. Mm. Cause or they, if they had something planned for Paige. Yeah. Um. Which would make sense, because usually you don't have Alexa Bliss I would wrestling. assume later on came the Alexander and... Enzo. Yeah, that was much later, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah, Which is funny, because the segment that happened before with Naya and Alexa mm. should have happened after the Cruiserweight segment. Yeah, that's because, true. Because <laughs> yeah, that was the, the, I guess, the actual announcement of Enzo not mm -hmm. being there, but they made, like, an official one right. later on, which made no sense. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> anyway... But this was it was a it was a good match though. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. So it was very entertaining. Mm -hmm. And it was good it was good uh good character work with uh Alexa and Asuka was being the dominant force mm -hmm. that she But they they made her work for the victory. It's true. They didn't she, just it, give it yeah, to her. Yeah, it like, wasn't just a quick, quick like win. most of her matches yeah. up to this point. So <laughs> up next we have uh, another Renee and uh, Joe interview, like yeah. much like last week. <laughs> Joe said that he sent Dean home. Now he's gonna live off of his wife's paycheck. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. So oh, man. I, I wonder going into these things, how uh, how much, uh, like I, I'm sure they're told at least what to say yeah. in terms of like the idea. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure that a lot of this stuff gets ad lib. <laughs> oh yeah, this is just Joe so, having fun. Yeah. So okay. it's hilarious. I ruined this. Yeah, but he basically said that now with Dean on the shelf, he's gonna put Roman on the shelf, and that no, the Shield will never never hold gold together again. Yes. Yeah, that was that even, was even though right now Rollins is a tag team champion. It's true. And Jason Jordan's literally just a placeholder for mm -hmm. Dean Ambrose. So, but there, then again, if Dean didn't get hurt, there's a good chance that they couldn't didn't have the title back. Yeah, yet, no, so. probably not. Yeah, that's true. So, um, so then we had up next Braun versus Rhino. So before this match started, Braun came out on his own. Yeah, but um, and then Heath Slater and Rhino come out, and I could have swore that JoJo introduced yes. Heath Slater. Yes. With Rhino, yeah, because it was Heath Slater's music playing. Yeah, well, it's I, always it's, Heath Slater's music Yeah, yeah, music no, playing. I know. She did, yes. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. I thought I did. I started but laughing. I'm... I said, oh, he's going to face Rhino because last week he faced Heath. Yeah. Well, no, last week Kane faced Heath, didn't he? I thought Braun. Faced... Oh, Braun fought the Miztourage. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Okay. And Braun just came out and beat up Kane, I think, after that's that right. match. Um, Was it during, right before this match that Bailey said she was going to be in the Royal Rumble? Uh, well, I didn't include these because they're kind yeah, of... Yeah, yeah, I was just trying to... Because um, I was going to make a joke that Braun was going to be in the Women's Royal Rumble. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> Bailey, Sasha Banks, and Absolution all did small video packages like right before other segments mm -hmm. saying that they were going to enter and win the Royal yep. Rumble. That's about it. Yeah. But it was, uh, so this match was... It was pretty fun. Um, so <laughs> Braun is decimating Rhino and Heath Slater keeps getting up on the apron so Braun says, all right, screw this. Give me a microphone. So he gets on the microphone. He says, hey, what do you say? Hey, cheerleader, it's either shut up and get a 
get down down or get in the match and feel these hands right or something like let that. these hands take you or something like that oh <laughs> uh, so then yeah it's really fun. gets involved it's like, fine i'll get involved and braun beats the crap out of him but it was so weird because the crowd was cheering for rhino then they were cheering for heath and then they were cheering for braun as well it's, it's the it's like the nxt crowd yeah. so they don't oh, know what to do and the crowd was kind of terrible last night they were really involved or really into the Roman Reigns versus Samoa Joe match. Yeah, all well, match was very good. Yeah. Um, but, but beyond that, yeah, not they so were much. pretty bad. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was funny. Mm-hmm. Um, and it ends up being uh, Braun hits a power slam on uh, Rhino, mm-hmm. then he pins him, and then he hits, I think, three more on Heath, and then two more on Rhino. Yeah. He just kept on doing it. They'd he'd he'd hit one, they'd play his music. He'd hit another one, they'd play his music again. And, Rhino uh, was selling the hell out of him. It was so good. Well, Rhino's an old man. He might. He have, is. He might not have been selling 42, them. Forty-two, I think he is. He might have just been on his deathbed <laughs> at the end of that. I like beating up politicians. <laughs> he beating does. Up Kane beating up Rhino. Next is going to be Booker nope, T. Booker T. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I better not tell him I'm running. Oh <laughs> they man. They keep secrets. Good stuff. All right. Yep. So what we got? Oh, it's uh, Seth and. Roman in the locker room, right? Yeah. And uh, what did Jason Jordan say? He well, came yeah. up. Well, yeah. they were talking, right, about the match later well, yeah, on. Yeah, because I guess Seth was kind of saying that, uh, saying good luck yeah. and don't let Joe get under your skin, basically. Yeah, keep you cool. Yeah, and then well, oh, Jason Jordan comes in and he says, "Oh, don't worry. If the bar try to get involved, me and Seth will have your back." And then, then Seth and Roman just give each other the dumbest look, like. Seth's like, I'm sorry for him. Uh, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, that should be Seth's gimmick. Every time Jason does something, Seth should fall behind him and be like, I'm sorry. He said I'm that. sorry for my younger brother. <laughs> he can't help oh, himself. Oh, man. All right, so uh, backstage, we got, uh, I guess, a seething Braun Strowman running or walking backstage. Yeah. Kane's like, oh, we're, we're the two alpha monsters on Raw. We should team up and take out the beast. Braun was basically like, I don't want to team up with you. I'm the only alpha monster on Raw. And he said he's if he's going to do anything, he's going to do it on his own terms, right? Something like that. Yep. said he's going to win, mm-hmm. and he's going to do it on his own. Yep. He doesn't need Kane's help. That's it. He doesn't want Kane's help. Nope. I mean, Nothing. granted, after what we saw, what was that, No Mercy? I think he still needs Kane's help. Oh, with the He got poo-pooed he, on. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. But we'll see. Got the golden shovel. Not really though, eh, but I, don't, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say that. Yeah. But you know, he should have taken more than one F five. That's have. all. That's, most certainly should have. Anyway, uh, we got another backstage segment. Kurt yeah. Angle's on the phone. Oh shit! That was three backstage segments in a row. Yeah. Well, you know. Yes. Um, what is this that, impact? Yeah. No, it's yeah, weird. That's I wouldn't know. That's how they do it. They have match, 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 backstage, 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 match, match, match. It's weird. That is strange. Yeah, I'm like, stop doing that. Anyway, uh, back. Uh, Angle's talking about the, I guess, the Royal Rumble rules to somebody. Um, and then uh, well, probably wasn't even on. Oh, you're paying attention. <laughs> you mean it? Well, the the back. Oh, the, the phone. Yeah. No, it probably was not. <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, candy and then, starts falling out of it like those old fashioned <laughs> cell phones. <laughs> so Finn Balor comes over. And he says that he wants to enter himself into the Royal Rumble. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Angle goes, oh, I didn't think that that's why you were coming in here. So like, what about your match later on? And he's like, oh, I found partners. Mm-hmm. And it was the club. Oh, my God. The Good Brothers I have was... teamed up again. We're going to have Finn Balor, Carl Anderson, and um, Luke, Gallows. Luke Gallows against the Miztourage and Elias later on tonight. Yeah. I was very excited. Uh, but, I mean, this is a, this is the simplest solution. It's so easy. He's not doing anything. Throw him with other people that aren't doing anything. <laughs> I was going to say, they're it's not so doing anything dumb. either. And uh, now, yeah. Next week, you could have him face the Revival in Elias or something like That's that. That's true. Because The Miz is supposed to be coming back next week, right? Yeah. So, Unless we get The Miz in. That would work, too. Yeah. Actually, that's Still probably where they're going. wish they went with your idea. Finn taking the IC yeah. belt off the Miz. Yeah. It would have just made so much sense. It would have made him relevant. Roman doesn't need a title no. to be relevant. Nope. Him and Joe could have just did what him and Braun did last year. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know. I know. Um. Anyway. Yeah. So, uh, like I said, we're very excited about that. The the no. teaming of them together. The club. It was just a matter of time. Help. Well, not necessarily, but it was. It's about time. The OGs are together again. Yes. 
Nice. Uh, so coming up next, we got uh, Roman Reigns against Samoa Joe for the IC title. A Joe Samoan versus named Joe, Joe versus <laughs> Samoa Joe. Yeah. So, <laughs> so a Samoan named Joe hits Samoa Joe with a Samoan drop, right? <laughs> he did. Yes. Um, you know, I've talked about these two time and time again. They always put on a good match that, together. It was really good, actually. It, it's yeah. a fantastic match. Yeah. And the crowd really gets into it. Yeah. Even even if it's a lot of people not liking Roman in the crowd. You know, it's something I noticed here, and it probably happens every week, and I just <laughs> noticed it, was as soon as the 10 o'clock hour hit, Michael Cole was started like going crazy as what was going on. And I just re- like Maybe he's like... getting tired and he's getting loopy. <laughs> Well, I'm guessing, you know, I don't know. Oh, it's 10 o'clock. Let me put Raw on. My other shows, I, I mean, you know, it might be something like that. I guess. It's possible. A lot of stuff does end at 10 o'clock. Yeah. So that would make sense. But yeah, this match was amazing because Joe was just trying to get Reigns to DQ, get himself oh, yeah. disqualified. He, he pushed himself. He pushed Roman <laughs> into the referee. <laughs> Goes, ref, he hit you. DQ him. He hit you. They go outside the ring and they're playing with the stairs and Joe's sitting against the the barricade and he's like, "Come on, hit me, do it, I dare you." <laughs> That's good. But uh, what's his name? What the hell's the ref's name? John Cone. John he Cone. Kept, he, he was really like being the referee in yeah. this match. Yeah. He's like, oh, "I gotta take it seriously." Yeah. Well, it's it's nice to have referees that can play mm-hmm. like along. Instead of just being placeholder or being yeah. there, because that happens a lot where yeah. they don't really feel like the like Mike Chioda is very good in getting involved in the match, yeah. where some of the other ones kind of just are there. Mm-hmm. So it was good. It definitely added to the match. Yep. Um, but inevitably, to no one's surprise, um, Samoa Joe actually goes for, or hits or I guess locks, locks in, in the, the Coquina, Coquina clutch. clutch. Yeah. Roman ducks out of it. Bounces off the ropes, hits hits him with yeah. a spear. Hits him with the spear. One, and, two, three. Uh, yep, that's it. Oh man! So we got backstage segment with uh, Paul Heyman. I guess he walked into Kurt Angle's. Office. No, he, Kurt Angle was staring at the TV, wasn't he? Yeah. Well, I guess that's still in his I office. Yes. Yeah. And Heyman basically said that 2018 is going to be the year of the beast. Yeah. He was also complaining about the rules to the, or is that later on? I don't remember. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. He just said that. Um, that 2018 I, will be the year of the beast. I tuned out during the main event. As soon as Lesnar and Eamon came out, I said, I don't care. Well, yeah, because it is really, it wasn't worth yeah. it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, after that. <laughs> this is so random. Gulak and Davari come out, and yeah. Gulak has a, has a piece of paper in his mm-hmm. hand. He says, everybody, I have a note from Enzo. He's sick. <laughs> and, and then he starts reading like Enzo was writing, mm-hmm. but like as That's himself. Right. That's not right. This is <laughs> Yeah, it was great. I love when he does that. Yep. But uh we were talking about before that this segment should have probably gone on before the backstage segment with Naya and Enzo. I mean Naya and uh, Alexa. Yeah, yeah because absolutely. this is the actual saying that Enzo's not mm-hmm. gonna be there. Yep. Um and then they're talking and then I guess we'll have to see Enzo beat Cedric Alexander some other time. Yeah, right. And at that point, Cedric comes out. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he wants a one-on-one match with Gulak. I, I guess I don't I think remember. That's what he said. Yeah, but then they <laughs> yeah. were like, oh, "Well, we know you can't find any friends to have a tag team match against yeah. us." And then Gold Dust comes out. <laughs> it was confusing. Yeah. Um, well, although it worked, it did. But you know. it, it's funny. You got to think how many people are not. Are out of the 205 roster right now. Uh, well, uh, Kendrick. Kendrick, Swan. Um, who else is? Enzo. Enzo. Um, TJP. God yeah. knows what happened to him. I was going to say, he just hasn't been around. Yeah. I don't think we know but I mean, why. on a small roster. <laughs> yeah, it's true. There's there's a lot of Tony missing Nice, people. I mean, there's been, I don't know, You're not going to put nice yeah. with him, though. No, there's... but I mean, I could see some sort of face flop in, in that, but I mean... Mm. I don't, Gulak would be the one to turn face. Yeah, I was going to say, I think right now Nice is so established to As be a, with Gulak yeah. that he wouldn't team with But he was else. getting beat up by all of them. Oh, Gulak? Yeah. yeah. No, 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 oh, no. Nice oh, yeah, does, that, yeah. Okay, because he had yeah. that match with mm-hmm. Enzo. Yeah. Um, that That is true, but at this point, I think that Gulak and Nice's relationship is too strong yeah. to have them fight each other. Fair enough. So Then it doesn't matter. Anyway, um, <laughs> but yeah, this... Or, you know, it was a cruiserweight match. It was very quick. With Goldust. With Goldust. Yeah, Goldust and Alexander pretty much controlled the entire match. Yeah. 
Um, um, and the ending was basically just Gulak getting hit with the lumbar check. It, I don't yeah. know. Goldust did Goldust do dropped to his knees and smacked Gulak in the face, and then Cedric flipped oh, okay. around and hit him with the lumbar yeah. check. Yeah, it was a a very very simple mm-hmm. match. But you know, it was nice seeing Goldust on TV. Yep. But I'm confused because <laughs> the last time we saw him, he was a heel. Now all of a sudden he's a face again. Well, last time we saw him was with the DVD last week. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. But I think they're just trying to get him on, on TV, TV yeah, just absolutely. because he's in that mixed match challenge thing. Mm, that makes sense. So, which is funny because they played the commercial, but they didn't say when it was. They just said ten o'clock two weeks from now. Yeah. But they should have played that after SmackDown because it's after SmackDown. That's true. And they I was like, have. so what are you going to turn on Facebook when Raw's on the second hour? End of the second hour. I, mean, I don't know. Just. They'll probably have oh, specifics yeah, yeah. next week and yeah. stuff. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so up next we have uh, Elias coming out. He mm-hmm. sings a song. Yep. And uh, I guess it was trashing. I don't know what it was. Miami? About, really. it was, yeah, yeah, I guess yeah. it was Miami. Yeah, I think they were trashing Miami. Um, and, then, and then he finishes his song, and then mm-hmm. Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel come over with... No, I think they started... And then he sung his song because he was like, all right, that's enough. Well, no, he, he sang the first part of the song. Then they came over. Mm. Bo said something about um, uh, saying the songs for The Miz, who's going to be oh, back okay. next yeah, week. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I think yep. Bo had a cowbell mm-hmm. and Dal- um, and Axel had, I don't remember what don't he remember had. I don't remember what he had either. But it was like the w- strange instruments. Yep. Um, or did he have like a triangle or something? I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Anyway, doesn't so matter. they start singing and playing, and then it sounded horrible. Mm-hmm. And then um, Gallows and Anderson interrupt. Well, yeah, the three of them come yeah. out. Yeah. Uh, well, no, no, they came out separately. Gallows and Anderson came out, and well, then the, Finn yeah, came out. Yeah, but I'm saying they. It's not like they came out like. It's not like um, Gallows and Anderson came out, and then stuff happened, and then oh, Finn okay, came yeah, out. yeah, yeah. Or they, they sat in the ring and went to commercial break, and then Finn came out. Yeah. So. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so then after that we got the Elias and Miztourage versus Finn Balor and the Good Brothers. Yes, technically it's all the I guess Balor Club now. That's probably what they will They'll eventually probably go refer by to. That, it. Yes, because um, it's the club and Finn Balor, right. so it's Balor Club. Yeah, this was a pretty quick match. Of course, <laughs> they. Yeah, uh, I just I just they dominated the fact that they teamed together. Oh, that was that's fantastic. That's yeah, that is all that matters. I miss I miss watching Luke Gallows lumber across the ring trying to run. And the best part. Carl Anderson didn't need a pin. <laughs> yes. He was on the winning side. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. But yeah, so uh, Bo Dallas gets hit with a magic killer by Gals and Anderson, and then Finn hits the coup de gras. A very nasty looking one, because it yeah. looked like he landed on his stomach. stomach yeah. It's like when he hit AJ with it, like got stuck in his body. So, uh, so yeah. Yeah. It was good to see that. It I was. I was happy with that. All right, so... And then a lackluster main event uh, for a decent, sh- a good show overall. Recently, they've been doing Lesnar and Heyman getting them over at 10 o'clock. Yeah. They need to, s- to do that yeah. again. Or they can't do this anymore. Mm-mm. You cannot end Raw on something that just ends. I think Strowman and Kane fought after the... Uh... Oh, uh, like in a match? Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, after a dark but, match. Just, just... but could you imagine me in a live audience and this was the crap that ended the oh show? Oh my God, it was so bad. So, basically what happens is Lesnar and Heyman come out. Mm -hmm. uh, Heyman complains about the triple threat rules and how he doesn't need to win or he doesn't need to be pinned to lose his title. It's basically the SummerSlam thing all over again. Yeah, and Heyman goes, don't worry, Lesnar's going to win no matter what. Mm -hmm. Um, Which, you know, it's probably going to be the case, but it doesn't matter. Um, Is that when Kane comes out? Yeah, and then Kane comes out. Chokeslams Lesnar. And Lesnar sits back up a yeah, little while, like a little Kane, after, like Kane does. Yep, and then Lesnar charged at Kane with the belt as mm-hmm. he was getting out of the ring and knocks him over the ropes. They fight outside, and the locker room comes out. And well, the funny separates thing separates only one, only Kane, and then they, Lesner... they prematurely came out. Yeah, because as soon as Kane hit the ground yeah, from getting they were, hit, they with were the, out. Right? Yeah, Titus O'Neil was there mm-hmm. already, so it was funny because they were trying to come up with an excuse why they were ready so quickly. <laughs> so like, oh, Kurt Angle had them ready or something Telling like me that. this was pre-planned? Yeah. So it was, it was pretty dumb. Yeah. And then, like you said, they get separated, and it was just Brock Lesnar standing next to the ring, and then they, they closed the that show. That was it. That was it terrible, was, yeah. terrible ending. 
Not not good. But for other, an otherwise good show. I, I enjoyed everything, everything else. Everything else was fine. Yeah. There was nothing else. Yeah. And again, we actually got matches that were given time. Mm-hmm. The 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 one that made the the leap not least sense, but like the most surprising one to be along was the Alexa and Oscar mm-hmm. match. The length of that yeah. one. But yeah, everything was good. Yeah. It was, besides so, the main event it was yep. uh, it was a good show so we got three weeks to the rumble right or four weeks um yeah, well it's the 20 28th it, it's right? three and a half yeah, yeah 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 so but yep so still a little while to go even though it's mostly going to be people entering into the royal rumble because we have two royal rumble matches this year it's true but so. a lot, they, it's gonna fill out quickly yeah they'll do a few every so often mm-hmm so uh yeah that was our raw review if you liked what you saw here please like share and subscribe bye bye